Hello, everyone. My name is Jesse Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. As you can see, I've been very busy since the last episode clearing out this space here. I've been chopping down trees. I've been slicing the weeds. I've been mining away the rocks. And now we have plenty of space and plenty of resources, too, to start extending our little farm, which is very good because in the last episode, we had some of our parsnips stolen by a mean old crow. So what we want to do is go into town right now. We want to go to Pierre's shop and see if he has any seeds for us to plant to replace our stolen parsnips, of course. So let's head into town right now. Maybe we'll meet some new people along the way too. I know we have uh, two more people to meet. Just two more people. <laughs> let's uh, check out Pierre's shop. Hopefully, yep, he's working there. That's good. He hasn't gone away for the day, so... We have parsnips here. Let's buy two parsnips to replace the ones that were eaten. Uh, let's buy some beans. Why not? Let's see. Cauliflower. Oh, tulips. Oh, I definitely want to. <laughs> I definitely want to grow some flowers. Those would make good gifts for people. I bet. Some jazz seeds. Oh, those are cool. They take seven days to produce a blue puffball flower. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some of those too because that sounds really neat. So Pierre sells all sorts of different things. Wheat flour, sugar, oil. I guess that would be for uh, cooking. When we get to the cooking portion of the game, making different recipes and whatnot. And we can even buy uh, trees too. Apples, pomegranates, peaches. Of course, we don't have the money for that yet. But hopefully after we plant some of these brand new uh, seeds. Aha! This is somebody new. Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh, Abigail, you're always welcome to stop by the farm. Why not? And this is Elliot. I remember meeting him before. Hello, Jess. Are you well? I am well, Elliot. Thank you very much. We're going to go plant our seeds right now. <laughs> if we have enough energy, oh my goodness, 39. And here's Lewis. We might as well talk to him too. We always like talking to Lewis. The saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. Ha <laughs> ha. Chuckle. I like to visit once a week or so to catch up on things anyway. The saloon is actually probably a pretty good place to meet people, but we're only missing one person now, and I think it's actually Jazz. We saw her in one of the houses in the last episode, I believe, so we just need to figure out where she likes to be during the day, and then we can meet her, and we will be uh, all done meeting everyone in Pelican Town. Oh my gosh, it took so long to do, but we're almost there. So let's water our plants and hope we don't pass out so early in the day. <laughs> Actually, it might be a good idea to uh, grab one of our dandelions here and just uh, munch on it. There we go. Eat our dandelion. That should recover. Yeah, there we go. Recovered some of our energy. 25 little points of energy for us, so uh, we won't have to worry so much about passing out before <laughs> before uh, we even finish watering our plants for the day. Did I just... I might have double watered that, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell. Whoops. Okay, here's our mixed seeds over here. I still think that's probably a parsnip. It looks like uh, that's definitely a parsnip. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of energy again. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm all out of dandelions too. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these seeds in here for now. And we will plant those tomorrow morning when we're nice and fresh. And oh, I almost forgot. When I was clearing out the space over here, I happened to find this little bunny statue hiding behind one of the trees. We found a couple of those hidden around... Uh, around the rest of the town. I think we found a bird on the beach. At least it looked like a bird to me. And uh, some sort of raccoon, maybe, up by Linus's tent. So I'm guessing those are going to be very, very important later because, uh, well, they're just adorable. <laughs> I'm not sure what they would do, but they're very adorable. Oh, Lewis is looking at the, uh, the little calendar, maybe? Checking out when everyone's birthday is. His birthday is coming up very soon, actually. I believe it's at the end of the week. 
It was on, oh, either Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> oh, this is Sam. Hi, Sam. The clouds look great this time of year, don't they? Whoops, I'm shaking the bush instead of <laughs> seeing what he wants. Like scoops of vanilla ice cream floating on blue raspberry sauce. Or maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> Oh, Haley just went into this house. I guess Haley lives here. Okay. I've decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all of last year's styles to make room for new ones. Okay, Haley. I, oh, I almost forgot. We need to get her a sunfish today because there's only one day left of her mission and sunfish apparently can be caught in rivers when it's sunny out so today would probably be a very good day to do that as long as we don't lose all of our energy fishing uh let's talk to alex first the air's starting to warm up i'm feeling pumped okay alex oh, there's a dog here i've never noticed that before dog maybe that's alex's dog <laughs> oh i can't wait until we can get our little kitty I'm definitely looking forward to that. So let's see. Oh, that does use a lot of energy. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're not going to fish much more after this. <laughs> we're clearly starting to get exhausted. Uh, there's like no fish here anyway. Trash. Come on. <laughs> Why can I only seem to catch trash? When I fish now, this this is pretty poor. Forgot about our overgrown uh, <laughs> our overgrown little pond. At least we made sort of a path. Yeah, this is a pretty good path. Uh, <laughs> and this is all cleared out now, so so that's good. So let's just tuck Jess into bed. I know it's pretty early, but we'll tuck her in. We'll get our energy all filled up for the next day. Oh, look at that level up level one foraging plus one axe proficient proficiency <laughs> trees sometimes drop seeds new crafting recipe too, wild seeds and a field snack recipe oh that is exactly what we need field snack <laughs> that would have helped us yesterday huh oh look at that it looks like we have a letter um Oh boy, that's a long letter. Uh, to our valued Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Oh gosh, blah, blah, blah. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. Really, Joja? I apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris. <laughs> okay, sure. Something tells me that Joja isn't really looking out for uh, our best interests here. Oh, okay. Can I actually? Yes. Oh, I can actually pick my parsnips. Okay. <laughs> my first parsnips. The very first crops grown to completion on Cattail Farm. So, whoops. So I wonder how many we have here, because of course two of them were eaten by those awful, awful crows. Uh, 14 parsnips, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So now we can uh, take the rest of our seeds out here and we can just plant them right in. I'll put my tulips up on top. Oh, some of them are different, that's interesting. I, I wonder if they'll uh, all grow the same or if they'll be just a little bit different. Um, I think I'll put my beans right here. My neat little bean stalks. Oh, you actually can't walk through these. So good thing I have uh, little paths here. <laughs> Otherwise we'd be in trouble. And what are these called again? Jazz seeds. I'll plant my jazz seeds right here. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? They're little blue jazz seeds. That is amazing. So let's put these in here. Um, I think I want to save just one parsnip, okay? One parsnip for now because the rest I want to sell to uh, get more gold. I want to save that one parsnip because Lewis's birthday is actually coming up at the end of the week. I think within the next two days, Lewis's uh, birthday should be rolling around and we have to give him something for his birthday. I was thinking, because I haven't looked up what they actually like. I'm just trying to figure this out on my own right now and I have a feeling that he probably wants something that we've grown with our own two hands to show that we are really making the most out of our life on Cattail Farm. I I think he would appreciate that. So we're going to give him one of our very first parsnips and I hope that he likes it. So uh, let's finish 
watering our plants here. Let's fill up our watering can again. There we go, suck up all that water. And uh, let's just take a quick peek. I think I had a couple more seeds that I could possibly plant. Oops, what are you doing, Jess? <laughs> uh, yeah, two mixed seeds. So let's just pop these in the ground right here. One and two. That one looks very different. I wonder what that is. And are these parsnip seeds again? I can't really tell. <laughs> we'll get the hang of it though. Eventually, I'm sure we'll be able to tell exactly what they are just by looking at the seeds that we plant. So before we go out to town, I'm just going to take a little bit of time to clear up some more of the farm. So we'll have more resources and more space to make bigger fields full of crops and whatnot. So I'll probably just uh, skip ahead in the video and then I'll show you what I've done. Okay, there we go. I think that's about all I can do for today. So I cleared out some more down here. I chopped some trees down and I did get some of my first uh, tree seeds. I found some maple seeds and some acorns. So that's pretty cool. I also found uh, one more mixed seed too. So we might as well just pop that in the ground right there. Oh, that one, uh, that one looks the same as the one that was up here. It has that strange little green bit on it. Very interested to see what that is going to turn into. So let's put the rest of our stuff in here. We almost have 200 pieces of wood. That's not bad at all. I think we needed a uh, 300 to fix the bridge on the beach. So we'll have to keep that in mind. And of course, uh, our journal, I almost forgot to click on this. We can finish our quest for uh, cultivating a parsnip, I believe, which gets us 100 gold. That's not bad at all. And now we have uh, some new quests too, advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. That is exactly what we needed before. <laughs> we definitely need a scarecrow. Okay, that is going to be our new goal here. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. We definitely need that. Okay, and uh, raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of the town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need need her to build a coop or barn so that you can raise animals. Build a coop. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have little chickens. Little chick chicks. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's head into town. Let's go talk to Robin to see how much that's going to cost. Oh, something tells me it's not gonna be cheap. I don't think she's gonna do it for, uh, 290 gold. Oh gosh. Let's, uh, talk to Lewis before we go, though. I hope things are going well on Cattail Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up. See, this is exactly why I think he'll appreciate our parsnip because he'll be able to see that we are really doing well for ourselves right now. Oh, and it looks like we have another uh, quest here. Oh gosh, because we failed Haley's quest for a sunfish. Sorry, Haley. <laughs> Help wanted. I'm running low on daffodil. If someone could bring one to me, it would be very much appreciated. George. 90 gold on delivery and George will be thankful. Okay. I think uh, we definitely have daffodils. So, or did we eat the daffodil? Wait a second. <laughs> I can't remember now. Oh no. And uh, George, which one was George? I think that was um, the old man who lives with Evelyn and Alex, right? The one who used to fix up the uh, <laughs> the leaky roof for Evelyn, but can't anymore. Haley is ignoring you. Haley, that's rude. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. We didn't get her her sunfish. She's probably not very happy about that. I can understand that. Maru, uh, sorry if I seem a little cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. I had to sort patient records for four hours straight. Oh, Maru. Gosh. <laughs> I would be sore after that, too. So, uh, Robin's house should be up here, I believe. Let's go visit Robin, see how much it'll cost us to, uh... Ooh, Sebastian. <laughs> Hi there. See how much it'll cost us to make a coop. Construct farm buildings. A coop. Houses four coop dwelling animals. 4,000 gold. 300 wood and 100 stone. Oh my goodness. Robin. <laughs> Robin, what are you doing to us? Hopefully our parsnips net us uh, a good bit of gold. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Oh gosh, I'll keep that in mind. Don't tell her I said that. That makes sense. She was pretty mad uh, when we first met her and Lewis tried to imply that she was uh, <laughs> trying to trick us into buying some of her house upgrades. But, you know, I think we would have anyway because it, it definitely looks like we need to upgrade our house. Uh, I don't really know you. 
everyone is definitely very suspicious of us right now. They they don't want to uh, talk to us. They don't want to know us. <laughs> Maybe we should start giving some gifts around town just uh, to let people know that we're okay. Oh, oh, that was spooky. Little beady red eyes poking out of that box. Very spooky indeed. Let's uh, talk to Evelyn here. Hi, Evelyn. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. I wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him some good. Well, maybe if we give him that dandelion, he'll be uh, a little bit friendlier toward us. And then we can suggest that he uh, does what Evelyn says. <laughs> Let's uh, take a sneaky peek in here. Maybe Jazz will be out of her room and we can say hi to her. Oh, she's not even home. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like, uh, who is that? Marnie? Marnie is inside her house right now. So, or inside her, her bedroom right now. And we are definitely not friends with Marnie. So we won't be able to uh, talk to her. There she is. Jazz. Jazz. We're going to talk to you. Yes. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hi, she's not very impressed with us, but I am impressed because we just finished it. We just finished our goal. Yes. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> this isn't what I thought it would be. This is a new quest. Okay, giving gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual tastes and you'll be popular in no time. Give someone a gift. Okay. Oh, they're all talking right here. That's pretty neat. This town's safe, but I always walk the children home anyway. Oh, that's so nice of you, Petty. It is getting pretty late. It's almost six o'clock, so all the shops are going to be closing down. Oh, boy. Uh, it looks like we didn't really get any uh, rewards by meeting all of the people in town, but that's okay. I am happy that we did so anyway. Do we have any dandelions? That is the next thing we should look at we have daffodils but no dandelions ah that is so frustrating let's see if uh we can find any dandelions up here i'll walk around a little bit see if any dandelions pop up there's something here but that's not a dandelion a wild horse radish uh bunny little bunny <laughs> nobody wants a bunny though is linus in his house Here's Linus. Hi. Please don't destroy my tent. Oh, I'm not going to Linus. Goodness, it's happened before. Oh, gosh, people are so mean. Here, why don't you have my wild horseradish? <laughs> this is a great gift. Thank you. Oh, he's so happy. I guess he liked that. So that finishes that quest. We can collect 100 gold for that. That's not bad at all. And we made Linus happy. We gave him some uh, wild horseradish. Oh, gosh, I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. And here's that uh, that strange statue again, that little raccoon it looks like. Well, let's just take a little peek in the Star Drop Saloon. Uh, oh, my gosh, look how many people are in here tonight. Oh, and Robin is dancing with Demetrius. How cute is that? <laughs> Robin is busy. I can see that. And Sebastian and Sam are playing pool, it looks like. Oh, he's not very good at it. And Abigail, she's sitting in the corner. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Oh, no way, Friday. <laughs> I didn't know that either. Thank you, uh, Abigail. Thank you, Abigail. This is Pierre. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Okay, so everyone must come in on Friday night to talk. And there's Willie handling salty fish all day. It makes me real thirsty, <laughs> as it would Willie. And Clint, the weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Well, that's good to know, too, in case we need to uh, upgrade any of our tools at some point. Shane, don't you have work to do? Uh, not really. It's 9 p.m., Shane. <laughs> Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there. Oh, because she's talking with Louis. Oh, Good evening, Jess. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. Oh, Louis. <laughs> he probably misses my grandpa. They seem like they were really good friends. I hope we can be friends with him too. So here's Leah. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. <laughs> oh, Leah. Uh, Pam. Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. Gus, business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. 
It looks like everyone's leaving right now. It's getting a little bit late. Uh, Emily, uh, spring, the season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? <laughs> a little bit, Emily. That's good to know, though. We should definitely take note of that because if we find anything that she might like as a gift, then we can hand that over to her. Hey, Sam, where are you going? Did I ever tell you we used to live in the city? Oh, I used to live in the city, too. I used to be a Joja employee. There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's also kind of noisy and hectic. It's hard to say which is better. Yeah, we used to work in the city. We used to uh, be a, <laughs> a member of Joja, which we thankfully left after it crushed our soul. We uh, received the deed to our grandpa's farm, and we are much happier out in the uh, in the country on Cattail Farm. At least I think so. So let's uh, tuck Jess into bed again. And actually, I think that might be it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching again. And in the next episode, we'll continue expanding our farm. We'll continue clearing things out. We'll hopefully be able to get a coop very soon too. And maybe it'll even be Lewis's birthday. That is coming up very, very soon indeed. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, yay, we leveled up. Yes, we can get a scarecrow. <laughs> No more crows for us. We're going to get that scarecrow. And all of those parsnips sold. Oh, look at that. Excellent. <laughs> Perfect way to end the day.